journey to grow my hair out gray get a little bit leaner fitter healthier this month's video is on my fourth month journey of growing my hair out gray can't believe it's been four months already time just flies when you're having fun I tell you listen the topic we're talking about today is discovering the pattern of your battle scars the pattern in your hair if you know someone who has some battle scars Okay, you know someone who maybe is a cutter, okay, they have some battle scars that they could physically see and remember different things in their past, in their life. If you know someone who's gone through very bad trauma, this video is going to be very helpful to them. Please forward it to your friends. Also, I am going to be starting, if I have enough interest, a community group where we will meet once a month to go over some of the topics that I talk about on my YouTube channel and on my website. If you are interested in joining this community group, please send me a little message or email me better, even better, email me on my website, mymomentlifelc, which stands for lifecoaching.com. Send me an email, let me know that you're interested. If I have enough interest, uh, people showing interest, I will form this group and it'll be a lot of fun. Anyway, here we go. We are going to start with this topic, discover the pattern of my battle scars. This was one of my five reasons for wanting to go gray. I turned 50 this year. I wanted to do something exciting, innovative, different for me, and adventurous. And I chose something that would be hard to do, but doable. And right now, growing your hair out gray is actually a trend. It's something very popular that even the young people are doing, having the silver hair, having the all white hair. It's something that's very trendy, but that's not the reason I did it. I really wanted to do something very unique and different for myself uh, for when I turned 50. And I thought, what better than a transformation? Go through a different transformation, have a different look. Now that I'm getting older, I am considered middle age now. So those of you that are in your 40s and 50s, you're really considered middle-aged. I know you don't like to think that, but it is true. All right, so what are battle scars? Battle scars stem from traumatic experiences, okay? Any traumatic experience that you go through and you have these scars that represent that. Patterns remind us of where we've been and where we're going and where we've come from. So growing your hair out gray is just one way to discover your battle scars, okay? Because it has been proven by scientists when you read about gray hair, a lot of it is genetics, but it is also a result of stress and trauma. If you don't believe me, take a look at any picture of any president that has served in office See the progression of their hair and then decide for yourself. Being president, it was one of the hardest jobs. I would hate to be Trump right now. He has a lot of haters, uh, but it is a stressful job. So is teaching. I think it's up there with being president, frankly. Look at this. This was George W. Bush. Uh, he was 54 when he first went into office. Eight years later, he looked like that. Oh, wow. He went through some battle scars to fight for our country, uh, to, to be our leader. And, you know, that's to be respected. Why should I look at him and say, wow, you're, you're just so ugly and old. That's what people do. They equate gray hair with old, which is true. The older you get, the more gray you get. But hey, old is just a concept in your mind. If you're young at heart, it doesn't matter if you're 100 years old. If you're young at heart, you're young at heart. It doesn't matter the color of your hair. So look at what stress did to this poor guy. How about Obama? He was 48 here when he started his presidency. Eight years later, he looked like that. All right? So the reality is that stress and trauma affects 
sexes. Also, because gray hair is genetic, one way to look at your gray hair is your family heritage. Uh, there's a Bible verse in Deuteronomy 3, 32, 7. It says, remember the days of old and consider the generations long past. In other words, we're not supposed to forget about where we've come from, our history, our past. God tells us to remember those things. And what better way to remember than to see your scars? Your scars will remind you, hey, I'm not going to do that again. Hey, I'm not going to go on that road again, right? There's no looking back because I'm not going that way again. That's what these battle scars remind you of. And there's so many women that who are growing their hair gray out, but they're very frustrated because they see patches. You know, they go to their beautician and then the beautician starts saying, oh, you know, it should all be one color. Let me blend this in and blend that in and we can make it all look gray. And they spend all this money to do all kinds of stuff to their hair to look gray. When really, if you embrace the patterns that your body has created through your life history, through your experiences in life, you will start to be able to look at those pattern scars as a good reminder of your family heritage, of what you've been through. If it was your fault that you went through certain trauma, okay, let's not make those mistakes again. If you went through trauma and you didn't ask for it, okay, these guys didn't ask for it. Uh, I felt bad for him. He had to deal with 9-11. You talk about trauma and leading a nation through one of the most difficult times that we've ever been through as a nation. Uh, I'm sure a lot of his white hairs are due to 9-11. All right? But let's not forget that. Because if we forget what, where we've been, what we've gone through, uh, we won't make changes in the future. So that's how I look at my pattern. Now, my pattern's pretty cool here, I think, the way it's going out now. It's only been four months, so take a look. Not bad, not bad. It's only been four months. I have two stripes here, and I have another patch back here, and then I have dark hair. My natural color is kind of, you know, dark brown. I have dyed it, as you could tell, to a lighter color. And, you know, with time, the ends are going to get brassy, and who knows what color they're going to be. It's going to be an entertaining video to watch, for sure. But when I saw these stripes coming out, I thought, wow, that's so cool. I've been doing a lot of reflecting, self-reflecting on my life, my past, my history, and now this little journey I'm going on is causing me to reflect a lot. And it made me think, wow, my hair is like really close to my brain. So I started doing some research and reading about the brain. So <laughs> this is what I've done. I have used these pattern battle scars as a metaphor for the parts of the brain where these battle scars are located. So follow me for a minute. These stripes are in the front of my brain, right? Okay. The front of my brain controls my memory and my motivation. Wow, that is so powerful. The front of your brain controls your memory and your motivation. I've always been a very highly motivated person. I would say not so much when I was younger, but as a young adult, Till now, I've always been very highly motivated. So my frontal lobe has really been exercised. I am a motivated person. The memory is stored there. Hey, I want these stripes to remind me of the mistakes I've made. In the future, if I have uh, you know intimate relationships, what kind of person I will get involved with? What kind of person I will not absolutely get involved with? You can only make those decisions based on your past history and what you've been through and your battle scars, believe it or not. You don't want to make the same mistakes again, do you? I know I don't. Okay, so these stripes right here remind me to stay motivated, to do God's will for my life, to be fearless, and to every day 
motivate myself and motivate others, which is what I strive to do anyway in the careers that I have chosen to uh, use my time in. That's the front. Amazing. Okay, now the back of the brain, okay, the back of the brain controls your voluntary muscle movement. Not involuntary, voluntary, where I will go, what I will do with my body, okay? These stripes back here are going to remind me that I control my body. My body doesn't control me, okay? And that's something very important to remember when I want to eat a Twinkie when it's past my eating time because I'm doing intermittent fasting. And I control my body, my mouth, what to tell it what to do. It also controls your posture, okay? One definition for posture is your approach and your attitude towards life. What is your posture? Uh, equ equilibrium, which is your balance. Are you a balanced person? All right, these stripes back here are gonna remind me to be balanced and to choose my movements wisely, what I do with my body and with myself who I am as a person. Start looking at your battle scars that way, whatever they are, okay? Physical scars, uh, you know, cutting is like, girls are doing it left and right and it's a very sad thing to observe. Uh, if you have family members that are doing that, I feel for you. I, I know what that's like. I did volunteer work for a year at a girl's home of sex traffic girls and I could tell you that these girls were beautiful and they had a lot going for them yet they would cut themselves and you can't wrap your mind around that but I would teach them about their battle scars and to move forward in life and to go forward and be a healthy person some took my advice some didn't okay that's just how it is. It's a, a painful, painful, painful career when you're dealing with people and motivation and changing your mind and doing what you were created to do here on earth. Many people just can't get past certain traumas, all right? Let alone, guy, you know, let their hair grow out gray. I think they're so afraid to see their patterns. They're like, no, I don't want to see no pattern. I'm going to cover up my pattern. I'm going to cover it up. That's not to say that it's wrong to dye your hair because I am the first to tell you that once this journey is over and if I don't like the way I look, I don't care if I look old or young, if I don't like it, I will change it. So it's not a sin to dye your hair. I am just trying to give you some tools to help you with your thinking and how you process this whole thing about gray hair, it is part of life and it will happen to you if it hasn't happened already. All right, my grandma used to say, and you know, and this is part of the thinking and the mentality. My grandma used to say, gray hairs are sick hairs. No, they're not, <laughs> you know, she didn't know any better. Probably her mother told her that, okay, that her gray hairs were sick hairs. Uh, you know, that's not true, all right. So we will learn more about how hair turns gray and all that in future videos. By the way, if you have a topic regarding growing your gray hair out that you would like for me to research, talk about, and share with all of you, let me know. Send me a comment. Send me an email. Let me know what you are interested in doing and learning, and I will research it for you, okay? All right, so... That was discover the pattern of my battered scars. That's all I got from you regarding that. Let's go ahead and put a little check here. Sorry guys, that's the teacher in me. Okay, now I'm gonna give you some uh, monthly coaching tips. My highs and my lows for the month. All right, my high was that I went on a interview, two interviews for the same company. And the first time I was going to go, I was a little nervous because I thought, yeah, you know, I got, I love my battle scars, but you know, not everyone understands what you're doing. Not everyone knows my journey I'm on. And I personally used to judge people whenever I would see their hair, like one color all the way down to here and then really weird color all the way down. I would judge them and, and think to myself, wow, that's neglectful. That, 
that's just the word that would pop into my head. That's just so neglectful. They, they are so neglecting themselves. I'm so sorry I used to think that way. I no longer think that way. Everyone does different things to their hair uh, to make a statement in different ways. It represents different things to them. And if someone has blue hair or purple hair or bald head, that's, you know, their business. And, and they have a reason for doing that. And we frankly just don't know their history or why they're bald. They could have cancer for all I know. I'm no one to judge, right? But I used to look at women that way. So when I went on this interview, I started thinking, what if they think I'm like neglectful? I'm like the most motivational person I know. Well, one of them. There's many people I admire that are very motivational, but I'm highly motivated. I'm not neglectful. And I kept thinking that, and then I just turned it around and I said, no, that's not true. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to look the way I look. I don't need to give explanations. I don't need to tell them why my hair looks this way. It is my business. It's my hair. And if they don't like it, they don't have to hire me. And that's okay. So that, that was my high. I was happy with my attitude. I had good posture with my attitude. Yeah, yeah. That's that back of the brain working for me right there. My battle scars right back here came through for me. My low. Okay, well, I had a family member who is male. I'm not going to name names. Tell me that they did not like the way my hair looked. And initially it hurt. It was like, because <laughs> we want to be liked by people. We want to be loved, don't we? And this is a person that I value their opinion. And then, so I asked, oh, that's interesting. How come? And they said, well, you look, it makes you look old. Which made me remember a couple months back, I had another relative, male relative, again, tell me that I look old. And it's going to make, first of all, they haven't even seen my gray hair grown out. It's like two inches, people. How could they make a judgment on something that's, hardly even evolved yet but it made me think about men and how they are so physical and when they look at women they just see like like a physical object there not all men obviously but I think most men are prone towards the physical and I am going to do a full video on that ladies you will not want to miss that and men you should watch it too because the last thing you want to do is make women feel like they're some kind of physical object because they will not respond to that. I mean, if they have self-esteem, they will not respond to that. So that was my low. My epiphany was that, I guess that was my epiphany, that men are physical and that they put a lot of attention on that. And I will do a video about that. So that was my epiphany. I got a little bit ahead of myself. One of the things that I'm adding, uh, that I added to my chart is at the end, I'm going to do a review on a product. I'm going to try to have different products each month to review for you. Some months I might not, it depends. But I do have a really good, good product that I want to share with you today. All right, so... That was my epiphany, which is, of course, my moment. I named my business My Moment Life Coaching Services because when you are so confused and messed up in different ways, whether it be through abuse or different experiences, you don't even consider yourself in the whole scheme of things. And the reason I named the business My Moment is because all of you have a moment when you need to open your eyes to what's happening to you and make some very important changes. And that happened for me six years ago. I made the changes I needed to make and I'm in a much better place today. Thank God. Okay. All right. Inspirational thought or quote. I have a quote for you. I love this quote. Everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. That was by Confucius. Everything has beauty. But not everyone sees it. So I actually think I look pretty good with my scars, with my gray scars. But not everyone sees it. 
Someone on, on the street might look at my beautiful scars and say whatever, whatever, whatever in their mind. And that's okay. The important thing is that it doesn't affect me and it doesn't bother me and it doesn't change my perspective because after all, it is my hair and I do with it what I want. Don't forget that. All right, fun fact. Here's your fun fact for today about gray hair. Most people, by the time they're 50 years old, will be 50% gray. Will be 50% gray. Most people. Okay? There are some that, because of genetics, probably they do yoga. And they're very stress-free. They've made many good choices in their life. They don't have so many gray hairs like some of us. But that's all right. They, everyone will eventually gray, get gray hair. And when I was looking at all the presidents, there were some that went like completely bald. So not only do they go all gray, some of them just lose it and are completely bald. I didn't have time to print all of them, guys, but you could research that on your own and you will see that I am right. All right, reviews. Oh, I have a cool review. Uh, there, I had some hairs, some gray hairs that were kind of sticking out. They were a little bit wiry. And I thought, I need to tame those little things. I know they're new, and they're excited that I'm finally giving them the freedom to express themselves. I just don't like it when they're like going like this. So I bought Argan Oil. Agardur Argan Oil, I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, I will have a link on the bottom of this video for you to purchase it if you want. It smells amazing. It, it leaves your hair so soft. Now, I don't put it on my whole head because, as you can see, I do have a lot of hair. What I do is I spray it in the mornings on my gray, and then I just smooth it out like this, like this, and then I just blast it with some hairspray, and I'm good to go. This is amazing. It really nourishes your hair. It strengthens your hair. You could use it with hot tools. I will forever use this okay once all my hair grows out gray i'll just buy a bigger bottle and just spray it all over and it'll be uh, my main my main my main oil that i use i've been using another one that i don't like as much this one by far is now my favorite and i did a lot of research guys on different oils for uh, gray hair i didn't want to just share uh a product that I wasn't really impressed with. I've been using this for the past month and I love it and I recommend it, all right? All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. This has been fun. Uh, please remember, share this video with someone you think could benefit from any of the content that I have shared. If you're interested in that community group, let me know, send me an email, send me uh, a PM me, however you want to communicate. Remember, this is your moment, okay? There are times like these when we hear something that really moves us to make a change. I say, use that motivation, that frontal lobe, and make the changes you need to make. I'd love to be your coach and help you with any of your goals. I am a life coach, and I help with spiritual guidance, physical challenges or goals you have you name it i love to help people who are recovering from abuse and past trauma and you can read more about that on my website when you visit www.mymomentlc.com and do not forget you do you boo till next time bye